U-turn. What should you do before making a U-turn? Check road markings to see that U-turns are permitted. Give an arm signal as well as using your indicators. Look over your shoulder for a final check. Select a higher gear than normal. Correct answer. Look over your shoulder for a final check. Explanation. If you have to make a U-turn, slow down and ensure that the road is clear in both directions. Make sure that the road is wide enough for you to carry out the maneuver safely. Use your mirrors and look round to check it's safe before turning across the road. 2. Why is it dangerous to drive too close to the vehicle ahead? Your engine will overheat. Your mirrors will need adjusting. Your sat-nav will be confused. Your view of the road ahead will be restricted. Correct answer. Your view of the road ahead will be restricted. Explanation. Tailgating is the term used when a driver or rider follows the vehicle in front too closely. It's dangerous because it restricts your view of the road ahead and leaves no safety margin if the vehicle in front needs to slow down or stop suddenly. Tailgating is often the underlying cause of rear-end collisions or multiple pileups. 3. What should you do if you're being followed by an ambulance showing flashing blue lights? Accelerate hard to get away from it. Brake harshly and stop well out into the road. Maintain your speed and course. Pull over as soon as it's safe to do so. Correct answer. Pull over as soon as it's safe to do so. Explanation. Pull over in a place where the ambulance can pass safely. Check that there are no bollards or obstructions in the road that will prevent it from passing. 4. What type of emergency vehicle is fitted with a green flashing beacon? Ambulance. Doctor's car. Fire engine. Road gritter. Correct answer. Doctor's car. Explanation. A green flashing beacon on a vehicle means the driver or passenger is a doctor on an emergency call. Give way to them if it's safe to do so. Be aware that the vehicle may be traveling quickly or may stop in a hurry. 5. What makes the vehicle in the picture environmentally friendly? It's powered by diesel. It's powered by electricity. It's powered by gravity. It's powered by unleaded petrol. Correct answer. It's powered by electricity. Explanation. Trams are powered by electricity and therefore don't emit exhaust fumes. They ease traffic congestion by offering drivers an alternative to using their car, particularly in busy cities and towns. 6. What should the driver of the car approaching the crossing do? Continue at the same speed. Drive through quickly. Slow down and get ready to stop. Sound the horn. Correct answer. Slow down and get ready to stop. Explanation. Look well ahead to see whether any hazards are developing. This will give you more time to deal with them in the correct way. The man in the picture is clearly intending to cross the road. You should be traveling at a speed that allows you to check your mirror. Slow down and stop in good time. You shouldn't have to brake harshly. 7. Why do motorcyclists often look round over their right shoulder just before turning right? It helps them balance as they turn. Motorcycles don't have mirrors. To check for traffic in their blind area. To listen for traffic behind them. Correct answer. To check for traffic in their blind area. Explanation. When you see a motorcyclist take a glance over their shoulder, they're probably about to change direction. Recognizing a clue like this helps you to anticipate their next action. This can improve road safety for you and others. 8. You're about to overtake a slow-moving motorcyclist. Which sign would make you take special care? A. B. C. D. Correct answer, A. Explanation. In windy weather, watch out for motorcyclists and also cyclists, 
as they can be blown sideways into your path. When you pass them, leave plenty of room and check their position in your mirror before pulling back in. 9. You're approaching a mini roundabout. What should you do if a long vehicle in front signals left but positions over to the right? Follow the same course as the lorry. Keep well back. Overtake on the left. Sound your horn. Correct answer, keep well back. Explanation, at mini roundabouts, there isn't much room for a long vehicle to maneuver. It will have to swing out wide so that it can complete the turn safely. Keep well back and don't try to move up alongside it. 10. You're driving on a single carriageway road. Why should you keep well back while you're following a large vehicle? To get the best view of the road ahead. To give yourself acceleration space if you decide to overtake. To leave a gap in case the vehicle stops and rolls back. To offer other drivers a safe gap if they want to overtake you. Correct answer, to get the best view of the road ahead. Explanation, when following a large vehicle, keep well back. If you're too close, you won't be able to see the road ahead and the driver of the long vehicle might not be able to see you in their mirrors. 11. Which road users benefit from two cam crossings? Bus and lorry drivers. Car drivers and motorcyclists. Cyclists and pedestrians. Tram and train drivers. Correct answer, cyclists and pedestrians. Explanation, two cam crossings are similar to pelican crossings but there's no flashing amber phase. Cyclists share the crossing with pedestrians and are allowed to cycle across when the green cycle symbol is shown. 12. What does this sign mean? Cycle in single file. Cycle route ahead. Cycles aren't allowed. Cyclists must dismount. Correct answer. Cycle route ahead. Explanation. Where there's a cycle route ahead. A sign will show a bicycle in a red warning triangle. Watch out for children on bicycles and cyclists rejoining the main road. 13. Which sign means there's a double bend ahead? A. B. C. D. Correct answer, B. Explanation. Triangular signs give you a warning of hazards ahead. They are there to give you time to prepare for the hazard, for example, by adjusting your speed. 14. What does this sign mean? Entrance to tunnel. Hump bridge. Humps in the road. Soft verges. Correct answer, humps in the road. Explanation. These humps have been put in place to slow the traffic down. They're usually found in residential areas. Slow down to an appropriate speed. 15. Which sign means the end of a dual carriageway? A. B. C. D. Correct answer, D. Explanation. If you're overtaking, Make sure you move back safely into the left-hand lane before you reach the end of the dual carriageway. 16. What does this sign mean? No through road. T-junction. Telephone box ahead. Toilet ahead. Correct answer. No through road. Explanation. You won't be able to find a through route to another road. Use this road only for access. 17. Which is the sign for a ring road? A. B. C. D. Correct answer, C. Explanation. Ring roads are designed to relieve congestion in towns and city centers. 18. Why does this junction have a stop sign and a stop line on the road? 
It's a busy junction. Speed on the major road is de-restricted. The junction is on a downhill gradient. Visibility along the major road is restricted. Correct answer. Visibility along the major road is restricted. Explanation. Where emerging traffic has a very restricted view of the main road, you may find a stop sign and a solid white stop line. You must stop at the line and then check carefully before you emerge. 19. You're approaching a junction where the traffic lights aren't working. What should you do when a police officer gives this signal? Continue ahead only. Stop at the stop line. Turn left only. Turn right only. Correct answer. Stop at the stop line. Explanation. When a police officer or traffic warden is directing traffic, you must obey them. They'll use the arm signals shown in the highway code. Learn what these signals mean and obey them. 20. What does this arm signal mean? The driver intends to turn left. The driver intends to turn right. The driver is slowing down. The driver wishes to overtake. Correct answer. The driver intends to turn left. Explanation. There might be an occasion where another driver uses an arm signal. This may be because the vehicle's indicators are obscured by other traffic. In order for such signals to be effective, all drivers should know their meaning. Be aware that the left turn signal might look similar to the slowing down signal. 21. Which sign means that the national speed limit applies? A. B. C. D. Correct answer, D. Explanation. You should know the speed limit for the road on which you're traveling and the vehicle that you're driving. The different speed limits are shown in the highway code. 22. What should you do when going through a contraflow system on a motorway? Keep a good distance from the vehicle ahead. Stay close to the vehicle ahead to reduce queues. Switch lanes to keep the traffic flowing. Use dipped headlights. Correct answer. Keep a good distance from the vehicle ahead. Explanation. At roadworks, and especially where a contraflow system is operating, a speed restriction is likely to be in place. Keep to the lower speed limit and don't switch lanes. Get too close to the vehicle in front of you. Be aware that there will be no permanent barrier between you and the oncoming traffic. 23. What should you do before slowing down or stopping your vehicle? Flash the headlights. Select a higher gear. Sound the horn. Use the mirrors. Correct answer. Use the mirrors. Explanation. Before slowing down or stopping, check the mirrors to see what's happening behind you. Also assess what's ahead and make sure you give the correct signal if it will help other road users. 24. What's the reason for the hatched area along the center of this road? It marks an area to be used by overtaking motorcyclists. It separates the two sides of the dual carriageway. It separates traffic flowing in opposite directions. It's a temporary marking to warn of the roadworks. Correct answer. It separates traffic flowing in opposite directions. Explanation. Areas of hatched markings such as these separate traffic streams that could be a danger to each other. They're often seen on bends or where the road becomes narrow. If the area is bordered by a solid white line, you mustn't enter it except in an emergency. 25. The conditions are good and dry. When should you use the two-second rule? Before starting the engine after it has stalled. Before using the mirrors, signal, maneuver routine. When checking your gap from the vehicle in front. 
When traffic lights change to green. Correct answer. When checking your gap from the vehicle in front. Explanation. In good conditions, the two-second rule can be used to check the distance between your vehicle and the one in front. This technique works on roads carrying faster traffic. Choose a fixed object, such as a bridge, sign, or tree. When the vehicle ahead passes this object, say to yourself only a fool breaks the two-second rule. If you reach the object before you finish saying this, you're too close. 26. You're driving on a three-lane motorway. How should you overtake a slow-moving lorry in the middle lane if it's showing this sign? Approach with care and overtake on the left of the lorry. Cautiously approach the lorry, then overtake on either side. Follow the lorry until you can leave the motorway. Use the right-hand lane and overtake the lorry normally. Correct answer. Approach with care and overtake on the left of the lorry. Explanation. This sign is found on slow-moving or stationary works vehicles. If you wish to overtake it, do so on the left, as indicated. Be aware that there might be workmen in the area. 27. A driver's behavior has upset you. How can you get over this incident safely? Follow them, flashing your headlights. Gesture to them with your hand. Shout abuse language. Stop and take a break. Correct answer. Stop and take a break. Explanation. If you feel yourself becoming tense or upset, stop in a safe place and take a break. Tiredness can make things worse and may cause a different reaction to upsetting situations. 28. What should you do if you want to overtake a long, slow-moving vehicle on a busy road? Flash your headlights for the oncoming traffic to give way. Follow it closely and keep moving out to see the road ahead. Keep well back so that you get a good view of the road ahead. Stay behind until the driver waves you past. Correct answer. Keep well back so that you get a good view of the road ahead. Explanation. When you're following a long vehicle, stay well back so that you can get a better view of the road ahead. The closer you get, the less you'll be able to see of the road. Be patient and don't take a gamble. Only overtake when you're certain that you can complete the maneuver safely. 29. What must you do when you see this sign? Stop even if the road is clear. Stop only if a red light is showing. Stop only if children are waiting to cross. Stop only if traffic is approaching. Correct answer. Stop even if the road is clear. Explanation. Stop signs are situated at junctions where visibility is restricted or where there's heavy traffic. They must be obeyed. You must stop. Look carefully before moving off. 30. You've stopped at a railway level crossing. What should you do if the red lights continue to flash after a train has gone by? Alert drivers behind you. Phone the signal operator. Proceed with caution. Wait. Correct answer, wait. Explanation. You must always obey red flashing stoplights. If a train passes but the lights continue to flash, another train will be passing soon. Cross only when the lights go off and the barriers open.